today I'm going to be talking about the RAD grid view and the ability to format data very quickly and easily within the uh, grid view. So, first we'll need a grid view. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have a couple of these on the form this time. So I've got me a, a brand new WinForms application. I'm going to get me uh, these two RAD grid views set up. We'll anchor them both to the right so that we have some space. And uh, I think that should be fine. I'm not going to be expanding this up and down. The other thing I want to do real quickly is change this to center screen so it starts up appropriately for us. Uh, we will need a little bit of data. So I'm going to add a new data source. There we go, Northwind. We'll use the Northwind connector string. And I will work with the orders and order details table. Okay. So let's go into the code. And we're on the form load event. I want to load up both of those uh, database tables into each respective grid. So please remember this is for uh, sample purposes only. I just want to uh, get a few things set up. We're going to do new Northwind table adapters, and we're going to say the orders table will be first. And then we'll do uh, DB data 2 is equal to new. Let's win this table adapters and we'll do the order details second. Now we want to tie in those grids. So we'll say grid grid v1 data source equal to db data dot get data. And right grid view two will be the other database table. So let's run that very quickly. And now you'll see that we actually have data from the orders table and the order details table displayed for us. Just for uh, visual purposes, let me do one more addition here. I want both of these to um, autofill their columns. I'm going to do that through red grid view one dot master grid template auto size columns. I want that equal to dot dot uh, dot fill. And we'll just copy that same line that record view too. So now let's run that again and you'll see that we've got our, uh, there we go, now our columns are much more spread out for this one and they will be here as well. Uh, might expand that out for space reasons, but needless to say, you'll notice here uh, in the orders table that date times are automatically defaulted to the date time uh, information being shown, but we may not want the user to see our date time uh, in this format. We might want to make it a little different. Specifically here, you'll see that 12 a.m. is where all of the times are located, and we don't necessarily want the user to see that because we're just dealing with date. So let's change that very quickly to only show date. This can be done uh, directly against the column, and uh, here we're going to go red grid view one dot columns, and we'll go to the you see uh, order date column and let's format that using the format string property equal to the following okay now just to break down what I'm doing here yeah uh, this is going to use the same functionality as the string format method that's available to you um, but we're going to be saying this is the long name of the day, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so forth. Uh, this is the long name of the month, December and such, and this is going to represent the this is going to represent the day and of course the year. And our formatting is going to be spacing and commas and and such between these. So let's see how that looks when we run it. And now we'll see that uh, Thursday, July 4th, 1996 is here. So. We've got that available to us. Now, I, I said it was just, you know, the long name. Actually, I'm in the middle here. Um, there's different ones that are available, and, we'll, and there's resources available to, to look into that, definitely on the MSDN website. Um, additionally, let's say we want to change up that a little bit more, and we want to add a different column. We want to change the formatting to be something a little more straightforward. And uh, let's go with... Uh, let's, which column am I? I'll do required date. 
And we can make that one into, uh, want that to be year, 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 slash, month, month, slash, day. And uh, do this. And how about we do one more? This time we'll do the ship date. And we will make that one uh, a little bit different. We'll make it the day, day, month. There you go. A little more standard format that most people are probably using today. And I forgot to put my brackets up here. So let me do that, correct that very quickly. And now let's give this a run. And there we have it. Now all of our uh, date columns look their own specific way. They're all customized. But they all uh, are no longer showing time because I'm not, I'm not displaying time in part of my formatting. And uh, that's, that's helpful because it, it may waste screen real estate if you have that kind of information here. Obviously, there's a number of columns in uh, the orders table. But, but you can see, you can, you can format this data quite easily, however you'd like, uh, to any different type of format. Another uh, interesting part of formatting is the numeric. And numeric where this is really powerful, because if I'm coming through and I'm looking at this data, this, these numbers don't necessarily look like currency to me. This is obviously unit price, but if I'm not looking at the column header, and uh, I'm, I'm way down here and I'm just I'm looking around, I've got a large grid or something to that effect, I'm not going to know that's $35.10. Uh, and additionally, the discount doesn't tell me anything either. Uh, I can guess that it's a percentage, but I can't tell that it's a percentage just by looking at it. So I want to apply that very quickly to the uh, grid as well so we can see that. So here we go. Let's uh, go down here to Rad Grid View 2. And that is where our order details are. And we'll do the same thing with our columns. And uh, go to unit price. We want that to look like a currency field. So let's change that. We want it to be something kind of different. So let's go with uh, a pre-prepared. There we go. So now that's going to give us a dollar value with thousand separators and so forth. And if, it's, if there is no value, then it'll be zero. I can, I can also change that to something like zero. Uh, there we go. At the same time, I want to uh, specify the, uh, the, the discount is going to be a percentage. So let's do discount. And set that format up there. So now it'll be showing those percentages. And if it's zero, it'll actually say none. Okay. Uh, one last thing, I've got that original data, review.columns, and this is for the quantity. And while quantity is not going to be something uh, we're going to apply any kind of special formatting to, I do want to put one thing in there, and that is the ability to display units after each uh, number represented. I'm also going to have... Uh, leading zeros so if it's a five then it'll actually be zero five and such just for alignment purposes and there you have it as you can tell i'm looking at fourteen dollars now for my unit price and nine dollars and eighty cents and thirty four dollars and eighty cents i've got uh, twelve units ten units and five units but again i put that leading zero in there and if the discount is zero then it'll say none otherwise it'll show percentages just like i said in the format so I hope this will be helpful for you to format your data in the RAD grid view. You can tell it's very easy to do, and uh, I wish you luck.